Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the Builder Hall Base Building Guide video. I want to put out a video to basically outline how you want to defend at each Builder Hall level, Builder Hall 2, 3, 4, and 5, not doing Builder Hall 1 because it's just too basic. So I'm going to be talking about what the main things you want to defend against are at each uh, Builder Hall level. And also be sure to check out my first video if you haven't already. It'll give you an outline of what um, the defenses do, just in case you don't know what the new defenses do. So that will help. But this is my uh, Builder Hall 2 base. I think it's a good example. Um, you want to keep the Archer Tower well protected and keep it on the long range. You know you can toggle it back and forth, but keep it on long range. That'll help. Let's take a look at a replay of this base. Don't want to over explain it too much. Um, you can see here, this is myself attacking myself. Disregard a few buildings in the left corner over there. They don't apply to this builder hall level. So you can see here's the base. And the idea basically behind this is to def defend against the three star. When you're really early, defend against that three star. That's the most important thing. The builder hall is too big to try to completely protect. Now people only have the raged barbarians and sneaky archers at this builder hall level. So that's all they can use against you. I'd say put the walls around the archer tower, keep it protected, put the cannons on either side of the builder hall. And as you can see here, the attacker spread the troops out, but was not able to get the three star. Pretty much all you're gonna be able to, they'll be able to do is get a one or a two star. And that's a pretty good trade at builder hall two. So here's a Builder Hall 3 base. I think it's a pretty good example. Uh, for these, you always want to spread out your air targeting stuff, which is your Archer Tower, your Firecracker, your Tesla. Um, keep at least the Archer Tower and the Firecracker on either sides of the base. Keep the Archer Tower on the long range. You need that range to cover minions. You don't want them taking out a huge part of your base if you don't have anything targeting air in the area. So that extra range will help for sure. The Crusher, keep that by the Town Hall to defend ground attacks because um, that's very strong at this uh, Builder Hall level. And I apologize if I say Town Hall instead of Builder Hall. It's going to be a tough transition. Um, and I'll be saying Town Hall a lot too in my regular videos. So um, you can see the uh, push traps are pushing the troops towards that crusher. That's important. You want to push them into the crusher, not away from your base. Pushing them away doesn't do much. The gaps at the top left of the base are for spring traps to get rid of any giants or stuff because at this builder hall level, as you guys will see in this attack, the main thing you're defending against is going to be probably giants, archers, um, boxer giants as they're called, sneaky archers and beta minions. You can see what that push trap did. It flew that giant towards the crusher. That crusher almost one-shotted the boxer giant, which is incredible. So use those push traps to spring stuff towards your crusher. That's going to be the best use of those. And the archers and beta minions can be tough to defend against. But like I said, that's why you want to have range. You want to make sure you have the um, firecracker in the archer tower covering the entire base in terms of air and then have those cannons spread out because right here it actually works out really nicely no free snipe on the builder hall everything goes down only a one star so um, keep your stuff spread out around the base of builder hall three try to use those traps to your advantage so this is a builder hall three base you can see the main difference is you now have the air bomb spawner Put that right in the middle of your base, even more central than your builder hall, because that is so important to protect. It does all your air damage pretty much, and baby dragons are introduced at this builder hall level, so you want to defend against baby dragons as best as possible. So keep that at the middle, use the crusher to protect it, as you can see in this base, um, because a lot of times people will try a hybrid attack, at least from what I can see in the testing and they'll try to get the uh, air bomb spawner with ground troops. So protect your bomb spawner, uh, your air bomb spawner that is, with your crusher, the cubicle looking uh, gray thing in the base. Also the Tesla by the town hall is a good idea to just kind of try to patrol the town hall. I still like keeping the archer towers on long range even at this level. Still, because um, you want to have that coverage of the base, don't give free buildings, don't let them create a nice funnel because uh, that's often what people will do with the large amount of time you have. Uh, sometimes they snipe one building at a time. You want to make them commit to a push and um, that's pretty much it. Just try to, uh, try to get that builder hall protected, but more importantly, keep your uh, air bomb spawner protected. So let's go ahead and take a look at the defense here.
Right, so here's that baby dragon I talked about that are introduced. They're pretty strong um, even at this uh, builder hall level. This is kind of a hybrid attack. You can see the attacker coming in to try to get that air bomb spawner, but it's very well protected. The Tesla, the Archer Tower, uh, the double cannon for a while, not going to happen. And if you can keep that up for these hybrid attacks, check out how useless these baby dragons are against that air bomb spawner. Look at the damage it does. Boom. Boom, it's over. The second those bombs hit, it was GG. Um, I think you see it again towards the end of this attack right here. As the baby dragon goes in, spawns it, one. Uh, took out like half the baby dragon's health. Such an important defense, gotta defend it uh, very well. And uh, if you can do that, you should be successful. Of course, spread your defenses out to defend against ground attacks and uh, try to place those traps, the spring traps and the push traps in the appropriate locations as I talked about. So here is the Pinnacle Builder Hall 5. I went ahead and used the developer base that they um, designed because I just could not get one, to be honest. It's tough to design bases because the walls especially, they move in groups of five. That can be uh, really tough in terms of setting up a base because the walls get really crazy really fast. Now remember, your battle machine, the guy on the left-hand side that's your hero, he does not defend. So don't bother putting him in a good position. He will not help you on defense. Um, no new defenses uh, besides the big one, I guess, uh, the multi-mortar. Keep that in the middle. It's pretty much just as valuable, if not more valuable, than your crusher. Um, this base has the crusher uh, towards the bottom right by the lab, which I don't like as much. But the important things are in the middle. The uh, air bomb spawner, still as important, if not more important, because baby dragons are popular at this builder hall level. And the multi-mortar defending it. The multi-mortar has a great range. You'll see how powerful it is. You want to keep that in the middle, then distribute your defenses around the outside. And at this builder hall level, you can start putting your archer towers on the limited range, I think, because you have enough defenses that you can cover your base. You have the two firecrackers. Not as much of an issue in terms of coverage. So if you want to have one somewhat central uh, archer tower on ground, or not on ground, on limited range, that's a good idea in some uh, situations. This is a ground attack first on this base. We'll take a look at two. And uh, those bombers do quite a bit of damage. They're pretty powerful. They go through those walls quickly. They can open stuff up. So something to think about. But the multi-mortar, as you saw, was doing quite a bit of splash damage towards the beginning. But like the regular mortar in your village, once troops get close to it, it cannot fire um, or at least target the troops nearby. So it actually went down. And right here, the, uh, the hero, the battle machine, actually um, gets some great value because look at that. Just in time, the recharge on the ability and if the battle machine can survive the initial push and kind of make his way out like he does here, you can get some great value if you just keep pounding that ability. You get it like every 10 to 15 seconds, I think. So um, just keep hitting it away. Great value here. Um, you guys might have saw the um, cannon carts. Once they die, they actually get a few suicide shots before they completely are dead, although they become mo uh, immobile, which is an interesting uh, feature. So I'll make a video on the attacking troops to be more specific, but I wanted to get this defensive video out as soon as possible for you guys. Let's take a look at one air attack on this base. Okay, uh, didn't get the very beginning of this, unfortunately, but uh, all that was happening was dropped a bomber. This is kind of a hybrid attack. I think it's going to be pretty common. Um, it's a pretty powerful strategy. This base, though, does a pretty good job defending it because it's not easy to get in there and get the uh, bomb spawner, despite the crusher being offset. I'd like to see the crusher also in there by the uh, multi-mortar defending. It's kind of offset, which isn't the best uh, setup, in my opinion at least, but um, the multi-mortar is defending well, and the uh, guard post actually can be relatively effective. You can see the uh, battle machine goes down before the, the ability gets popped again, which is huge. You don't want to uh, lose your battle machine too early, and that air bomb spawner has a sliver of health, but it's still not quite... Um, down but right here it goes down to the baby dragon still um there's the firecracker which you can see does very very little damage compared to um the bomb spawner the air bomb spawner and even the archer towers and teslas the firecracker is very very soft on dps but um that's pretty much it for this video hope these base building tips slash replays help and uh good luck in your base building be Feel free to comment any questions below. We're all still adjusting to this, 
and I think I'm going to cover this um, in some form or another on my channel because it's interesting gameplay. I like it. And uh, yeah, one more thing. Remember, you can set your mines on air or ground. They're like skelly traps in that you can set your air mines, which are equivalent to bombs, on air or ground, which is very interesting. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.